Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, there was a lot of jokes online. We were about the hair last time. Things weren't going very well. Yeah, yeah. Did you switch I'm, barbers for this one? Uh, we, we, we were trying to keep it up. We're still, like, we're still trying to go through the... We're in the beta phases. You know, it's beta right now, and we're just going to keep getting better and better, you know? So um, we're working on it. We're improving. We're improving. Yeah. I'll add still better than mine. That is true. That is that is <laughs> that's true. But I mean, it's nice. I like it. Fit, it's fitting. For you. I gave up the ghost. Gave it up. Damn. Bill, can you just walk us through uh, everything that happened? You know, the last fight week, obviously, you know, last minute change and everything. The fight didn't go forward. We got on this card. Can you just tell us uh, the behind the scenes process in your side of that whole situation? Uh, yeah, uh, a few weeks ago I was supposed to fight Duran, but Duran, uh, something happened, some illness. I don't know. I, I don't really know the specifics of what happened to him. But then um, then they called me short notice with Kurt, the Curtis. was like a day replacement or something like that. And I just feel like uh, for me as an athlete and to him as a opponent, I, I feel like I, I, I want to put my best performance out in there in the cage. It's easy. Yeah, sure, I could have went in there, just went out there, boom, take down, you know. But that's not how I want to fight, you know. I want to put on good performances, you know. I don't want to be one of these guys who just have to run and rush a takedown. So I like to analyze my opponent. I like to study him a little more. And I like I like them to sit there with two weeks or three weeks and knowing they're going to have to fight me. And they're watching my films. And they're watching me on Instagram. And they're watching me train. I don't want some guy who's just going to like, oh, well, if I lose, it's my uh, I'm a debut guy. Uh, you know, I have nothing to lose. No, I want you to sit there and watch me train. Watch my Instagram. Watch me train as hard as possible. And, and get those nerves that, like, this dude's probably going to knock me out. So that too yeah and i think in your position in particular i mean i think some fans expect you guys to just be willing to fight anyone anytime anywhere uh, but you worked so hard to get to the ufc and you know had the ups and downs it makes sense that you didn't want to jeopardize it in that moment is that kind of coming into the line of thinking as well um yeah like we're at the pinnacle of sport and you know and one loss two losses boom you would be gone you know what i mean like it's, it's doggy dog in the sport so of course you want to take the right steps you know and you guys know my journey you know what, how long it took to get here you know tough and then ultimate fighter get uh, ultimate fighter then contender getting knocked out and you know I'm here now and I, I want to do it right I want to I want that world title and I, I need that world title so I got to do everything right in my power that I see fit to become a world champion yeah, and we had Chris here earlier, and he said obviously he would have liked to fight on that date, but he's like, maybe Phil is a mad genius because here we are fighting on this card in Madison Square Garden in front of fans and everything. So, like, do you see, obviously, the positive side of not choosing to fight a few weeks ago? Yeah, of course. Uh, we're on the biggest card now. We're, we're, uh, he's welcome. You know, we're on the biggest card. MSG, you know, we're going to have a tons of eyes watching us, tons of eyes watching me get my victory. So, uh, if you look at the way it played out, yeah, I think I made the right move. And what do you expect out of him? He's a guy that I think wasn't supposed to be here to a degree and uh, happened very late in his career. He said, you know, he knows he's not going to have a 10-year UFC run, so he wants to make the most of the short time. So are you expecting a guy who's very aggressive, desperate to a degree? What are you thinking in the cage? Uh, what am I expecting from Chris Curtis? I'm expecting he's going to be tough. You know what I mean? He's, he's got a lot of fights. He's a, he's a veteran, you know, if not in the UFC, but he's still a veteran. But I know he's, he's, he's one of the guys here for the fight kit, you know what I mean? And I'm here to be world champion, and I'm going to I'm, uh, send him on his way. He's going to have his fight kit. He's going to be happy, but, like, I'm, I'm coming to get the knockout and the finish. Bill, are you uh, are, are, over here? Yeah, are you, uh, are you a fan of, like, New York sports? Because, obviously, you, you grew up in Bergen County right over here. Um, did you ever think about kind of being in the garden and competing like this? Because this, this isn't your first time competing here either. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, the garden is the mecca of the sports, you know, and – uh, I, I've been to like a basketball game or two, but like, like, like you said, like being MSG is just you know another dream come true, you know, and on the biggest stage with the biggest sport, you know, it's just amazing to me. So I'm really blessed, fortunate, and happy to be here. Are you gonna have any friends and family in the in town? Because obviously it's very close. Yeah, of course. I got I got tons of people coming. You know, uh, the No Hype Tour, everyone's coming, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Right on.